Okay, so we're in my kitchen now and this first video um, that I'm going to show you in here is just a really quick look um, at the inside of my pantry. So you can see, the idea is basically for you to see that even after you take all the gluten out, um, and in our case all the dairy and the soy as well, um, that there's still heaps and heaps and heaps of things that you can eat. Um, so I know it's a, really, it's a bit daunting at first. I remember the first time I did our great pantry purge and I was like, oh my god, there's got to be nothing left to eat. Um, and I literally got rid of boxes, like boxes and boxes. Admittedly, I'm a bit of a, um, a food hoarder. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But um, we live out here in the sticks and we get flooded in here. <laughs> And when the floodwaters come up, um, we can be cut off for up to a week. So I like to make sure that um, I've always got a really well-stocked pantry. Um, I've also got a really small kitchen. Um, so um, I also want you to see that you don't have to have, you know, like the great big Martha Stewart kitchen, um, as much as we would all like one. <laughs> uh, you can do this, in fact, um, with a pretty small kitchen and limited resources. So I'm just going to flick the camera around now um, and I'll actually show you how small my kitchen really is. Um, and in this video too, I'll also show you some of the storage ideas um, that I've come up with over the years to give me a little bit of extra space. So bear with me while I flick the camera around. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen. Um, we'll start with what we had as the backdrop. Please excuse my really filthy walls. I didn't realise how bad they were. Okay, so this here, I'll step back a bit so you can see my awesome, awesome, awesome father-in-law, who I love dearly, and my super wonderful husband built me for this. Um, I originally saw it on Pinterest and thought that is an awesome idea. So what they did is they actually cut into the cavity of the wall um, and built shelves into it. So. As you can see, this was just like a long piece of wall um, and I couldn't put shelves on it because as I said, this is a small kitchen and this is actually the walkway. So that door leads down to the rest of the house and then you can see my fridge there. And if you pardon the mares going around, that's the rest of the house and then the pantry is right there. So you can see I couldn't put shelves sticking out um, because they'd impede on the walkway. So that's a really, really helpful little tip there if you've got someone who can, um, who's good at building things. All right, so if we turn around now, I'll try to not make you dizzy. So there's my um, fridge. And then we have the stove. Lovely old stove. It's horrible. And guess what? All of the burners don't even work. Um, that's how great it is. And the oven is really uneven. So trust me, you don't even need to have a really good stove and oven. Um, and another thing I want you, I'm just going to point out here, sorry about the light, it's a really bright morning, <coughs> excuse me, is you can see I've got really narrow benches as well. They're not even as deep as the, um, as the stove. So then we go around, I've got my little itty bitty single sink, and then we've got the main work area, thank goodness I've got a dishwasher ignore all the washing in the background and here's my pantry. So as you can see it's a really really small kitchen so you don't need a whole lot of space um, to work. Alright so let's dive in. Now originally I was going to clean out my pantry and make it look all nice and pretty for this but then I thought you know what this series is all about being real and about showing that this kind of lifestyle is doable and I want it to be relatable. So I want you to see how we really live and how I really do things. Um, I don't want you to think that you know I've put on this whole big show for you. I want, I want you to see that this is how we actually live and it is completely doable. So excuse me I'm going to cough. <coughs> Alright so um, if I back back a bit you can see alright so there that's the whole pantry there. So the way I've basically arranged it is the things that we use all the time are right here at my eye height and the things that the kids use a lot are on the next shelf down so they can reach it. Everything else is kind of scattered in wherever. Um, I've got the tins down the bottom because they're heavy and I don't want to drop them on my head. I've got tissues up the top. Um, I've got, what have we got in here? Oh, things like my little hand mixer. I've got a pasta maker. Uh, all my, oops, sorry, I nearly dropped my phone then, all the glad wrap and that sort of thing up here. So I'll just give you a really quick rundown um, of what we've got, but in tomorrow's video I'm going to go really in depth into um, our gluten-free alternatives that I use. So today's just a quick overview. 
So as you can see, there's still plenty of sauces and things that you can use. Um, I've got oils, I've got vinegars, and then up the back, we've got lots of nuts and things. <clears throat> we've got noodles, we've got pasta, we've got corn thin so a lot of just the normal staples we've just gone for gluten free varieties all right so down here I've got some of my baking things um, I've got baking powder and vanilla tahini um, all right ghee I know a lot of people are probably freaking out going oh my god ghee's dairy um, ghee is actually the pure cooking fat so all of the protein which is the casein and all of the carbohydrate which is the lactose has all been removed so pretty much anyone who has issues with dairy is generally fine with ghee. <clears throat> Even my daughter, who is like insanely allergic to dairy, as in ends up in emergency, she's fine with ghee. Um, but this tin I actually use to store ground almonds in. Um, so what else have we got? Yeah, lots of bits and pieces and sauces there. Um, down here we've got our tins. Um, I need to do the shopping, so there's not a whole lot in here at the moment. Um, sorbet, what's in there? Sultanas, our nice local honey. I'll just give the fella a plug because this stuff is awesome. No, I can't get it to focus. Quality local honey. Um, yeah, if you can get local honey, go for it. It's like the best stuff. And then down here is just my chuck everything else kind of shelf that we all have and my 50 gazillion skewers. All right. So that's it. That's like a really quick overview. Um, and basically just to reassure you that once you take everything out of your pantry um, that does have gluten in it, that, you know, there's still heaps and heaps of things that you can eat. Okay, I'm back. Um, so that was a super quick video. Um, the whole point of today is just to show you that even after you take all um, your gluten out, and like in our case, dairy and soy as well, there's still heaps and heaps and heaps of foods that you can eat. So I don't want you freaking out that... Um, there's going to be nothing left. 